Welcome back to the Purple Swordfish Show. I am Alex, aka Purple Swordfish, and today we're playing some Madden Ultimate Team on Madden NFL 18 for the Xbox One. We're going to be doing some head to head seasons, and in the last game, we had this same exact team, so no changes to the team from the last episode, but we really had a hard time. Ended up losing by 17, had some things go wrong, and uh, had some user error along the way as well. Those two things usually don't combine for a very good result. Anyway, we are three and two on the season. So we can take a whopping two more losses uh, before we complete this one. And I think we have to, what, hit like seven wins versus three losses. So yeah, so we can uh, take one more loss along the way here before we get another four wins. I think that's how it works anyway. I'll see you guys when I get matched up. All right, kicking it off here, Dime Tampa 2. This guy paused initially and uh, waited out the full pause timer. Okay, that's a nice little run there. Unfortunately, you might be thinking, hey, your capture card's going out. Look at that terrible frame rate. Nope, that's lag. That's a pick. Champ Bailey continues to work. It was a good read, but I'm sure much to his dismay, the quarterback kind of sailed that throw a little bit. And uh, that's all she wrote. That's a pick. That was a bad throw by me. Wow. Well, there goes my advantage. Very disappointing to throw that pick. Probably waited a little bit too long to throw that to Emmanuel Sanders, and then I led him, which was completely unnecessary. I'm coming out on a dime Probably should have gone nickel here. Oh, that could have been another pick. This is a nickel Tampa 2. I know most people would come out in like a 4-3 here. Uh, not going to happen. That That's picked off by Dion, And that's a pick 6, I think. Oh, yeah, he got in. So two things. One, I love his uniforms, and two, I botched the field goal kick because, again, lag. It didn't register the second button press. He's going no huddle, but it's just really disappointing. I'm, just, I'm probably just going to go for two from here on out in this game just because of the lag. It's a nice defensive play there. Nickel Tampa 2. I'm going to keep running Tampa 2 until he shows he can beat it. He really hasn't shown that he can. And... He's running these really small intermediate throws. Okay, this is shocking. He's going for it on fourth out of a no huddle. This is usually not a good move from my experience. And it is not a good move. Stefan Gilmore with the pick. That's three for the day. And when I say three for the day, I mean that for my defense as a whole. All three of my lead corners getting a pick. That's pretty nice considering I've put a significant investment into the cornerback position and Devonte adams with the touchdown we have to go for two here it just makes sense that Devonte adams jump ball i figured we'd probably get away with it we've, we've been able to do that thus far this year that's a pick okay well he's doing good as a user it's just ah uh, he read it so i don't know that i've ever had 12 points in a head-to-head -head game online it looks really weird to me but it's okay. He continues to stick with the no huddle. And what I've noticed this year is no huddle isn't as effective. It seems like players get tired a little bit quicker. So, oh man. Well, that was something. The other thing that kind of makes me wonder about coming out of a no huddle is, is it out of frustration? Because a lot of times when you see somebody do it, it is out of frustration. And I whiffed on a hit stick big time. Speaking strictly from experience, no huddle usually does not work for me. And uh, mainly because now I'm stuck and I can only pick from a, a select few plays. And that can be difficult. I'm continuing to run the Tampa 2 out of the nickel. Again, he really hasn't shown he can move the ball on it. I know he's moved the ball a little bit here, but not a whole lot. And I think that's a sack. That's a sack. That's very nice. Now, right here, he's coming out. Big formation. Lots of receivers. And he runs it. Wow. 
What a... Wow, okay. This is dying. I'm going to flip it to a Tampa 2. That was a cover 4. Oh, that should be a pick. That's a user lurk. I got to say, the Quan Alexander, I paid a pretty penny for it. But it has been worth it. I love that card. Oh, Emmanuel Sanders. Mm. If I turned up field, that could have been it. That one's on me. Like, if I turn that up field faster, that's a touchdown. Nobody's catching Emmanuel Sanders. Like, that's just not happening. But I hesitated. I am going to start chewing clock here. And I know that a lot of people are against that. But me personally, I, I don't feel like spending all day in this game. Okay, running this play action boot slide. I've had pretty good success with these plays. Um, right here, nobody's open. And that's not that's a yard. Most people would go for it here, but I'm actually just going to kick the field goal. Officially make this a two-score game. Well, it's already a two-score game. What am I talking about? So it's a two-score game earlier, and I realized what I should have said is two-touchdown games. So it's now a two-touchdown game, which gives me a little bit more feel, a little more security, if you will. He continues to run this no huddle. I, I'm puzzled. I, I don't get it running this Tampa 2 again hoping that I can just help you know maybe maybe he makes a mistake okay that's probably the best play he's had all game so not a bad choice maybe he's learned how to play against it again he's running that he's running a no huddle on second down ooh nice sack coming out on a dime I'm expecting a pass but I don't know. He's running on third and long before, so... Oh, nice hole in the defense. Okay, I'm thinking he might be running the same play again. Just because he had such success with it. That's a pick. You can't throw it on Quan Alexander like that. It, it's just, it's not going to work. Okay, OJ Howard. Decent gain. What I'm trying to do here is maybe get one more score on the board. Uh, Zach Ertz, wide open. And gets out of bounds, not bad. I mean, it wasn't the fanciest play in the world, but sometimes the check down's not such a bad idea, you know? Uh, Emmanuel Sanders, they're talking about check downs there. Nice gain there. I haven't had a lot of success running screens this year, but we're going to try. He picked up on it. It's fine. Ertz is wide open over the middle. Very nice. All right, running this play action end around. This play has been getting Lamar Miller open in space. Not here. We got to call timeout. I'll give it to him. He had that. He had that last play completely covered up. I'm going to Ertz. Oh, that's a touchdown, but I... Why did I do that? First and goal from the three. You know me. I'm going to run the football. And that's, that's a good decision. All right, lesson learned. Do not check the recording on the first play of a drive. He got a heck of a pass there. Oh, come on. Throw it over the middle. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Okay. I was hoping it would go over the middle, but Dion had that covered. So I don't know if this is a thing, but he did one of those weird kicks where it comes off the tee and it's almost like a squib kick. So I ended up with really good field position here. I, I don't know if that's like some kind of an exploit that people are trying out. It doesn't work. So a really nice blitz there. Pays off big time. Um, he ends up getting... He ends up getting a... Uh, Second and long situation here. I'm trying to see if I can get Manuel Sanders open deep. Nope. All right, I'm running Y sale. And I'm actually going to send Sanu on a streak here because I think he might not have a man on him, and he doesn't, and that's a touchdown. Oh, how the heck? Manti Teo? Manti Teo just chased down Muhammad Sanu. That is unbelievable. 
but that's fine. He's run committing or blitzing all out. I don't know what he's doing. I feel bad, but I mean, if, if you're just going to run the same defense, oh man. Wow. Nice poke out there. Now, I wanted to come out in the second half, run the ball, chew some clock, but with him basically bringing the whole house, I can't do that. So, I guess this might be a long game. That, was a, that wasn't a bad pass at all. I think this might be the quit. I'm surprised he stayed this long. I mean, he threw six picks, and... Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. He's been pausing the game a lot. So, yeah. This is the quit. Okay. I will give him a GG. And I will gladly take the shutout. I think I've gotten maybe one other shutout this year. So, And that was also an early quit. So, I will take it. That is... Oh, man. Look at all that XP. Okay. So, we get... Wow. First one of the day. Complete game. Completed two quarters, won by at least 13 points, gained 200. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's nice. I will take it. It's very good. That will help my stats going towards Muttmaster. Um, a, a decent amount of picks there. Like, yeah. So I got a 40-0 shutout. I got a 6-0 shutout, but that was like a really early quit. I got a touchdown. The guy immediately quit, but still shut out. I count that. Um, and then we got this one for 28-0. So we're doing all right, man. Um... And then we got spanked in two games. So, I mean, what can you say? Uh, anyway, really happy with my defense. I got to say, six picks. Uh, Quan Alexander got two. Those were user picks. We got two with Dion. We got one with Stefan Gilmore. We got one with Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey, who did some considerable work in the last game, continues to do work. So, I'm pretty happy with the money that I have put into... One, my linebackers in Levante David and Quan Alexander, because those are the two that I use her on a regular basis. And then in addition to that, I mean, you know, picked Deion Sanders as my GOAT. Um, that was a pretty big investment right there. And then to get Stefan Gilmore and Champ Bailey, and they're, they're both performing very well for me thus far. The Champ Bailey took a little bit of coinage to get, and then the Stefan Gilmore was the gauntlet reward. But um, a lot of people were like, why didn't you take Adrian Peterson? Well, that's why, because I'm a big believer in defense. But overall, very good game. Um, very pleased with it. I'm going to go ahead, wrap up here. I'm going to put up my social networking links. In addition to that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Every single one of those really helps us out here. And then finally, I want to say thank you to all my current subscribers. Thank you for being friends of the show. Everyone else, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Purple Swordfish Show.